Nice. And just for people who don't know, like the mechanics of the game and stuff, just from our, it, so can you just actually catch one in the wild like that, or do you have to catch? It's like pre evolutions and have to evolve it up. No, or, no, no. You can catch it. I mean, look, you you're not going to defeat it, so you probably end up ramming your head through a wall or something because uh, if, if you come up against a ram fire without building your team to a point where you can actually defeat uh, a stage three run, but you figure that out pretty quickly when when you get in there. You need to have, you know, eight plus alluvials that are really really strong, good synergies together, and you can uh, you can take on stage three runs. I would hate for someone to just go, ah, oh, I'm going to go into stage three and 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 try and uh, capture a ram fire immediately. Actually, see a ram fire, but you get wiped in, uh, and, and you can't actually sure. beat it. I, I feel yeah. very deeply attacked right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, come on. You know exactly someone's going to go like, he's going to rush the beginner area and just go straight. <laughs> I, I'm not saying it's not going to happen. It definitely will happen. But, uh, yeah, you might get a little bit upset when you find out that you can't really right. – uh, there's, there's no shortcuts. Got it. Well, and, I mean – we, we got to do it. Like at some point where you just got to be like, okay, we got to give everybody who might be new to crypto. Cause like, you know, we, we try to bring everybody into crypto um, here. That's not in crypto. I think, you know, um, with the crypto mindset course, cultivate crypto and dollar cost crypto, we're always like, okay, 99% of people who will be in crypto are not yet in crypto. So for the people who barely even know what Bitcoin and Ethereum is, how would you explain the basics of Alluvium? And then we'll get past that. We'll have a, a better discussion after that yeah yeah no worries uh so it's a gaming universe that we're building which basically means multiple uh different games in different genres that sit inside the same ip and the same uh the the same ecosystem uh alluvium zero that is actually live now we decided to push that live a day earlier just to give a win to to the landholders that is where you generate uh, fuel on your industrial city complex. It uh, can be played on mobile, so just sitting at home casually, you can, you can be generating uh, fuel. That's really cool because uh, that fuel can then be sold to other players that are coming into the ecosystem looking to play our other games. And uh, so you, you've basically got this passive income asset there where uh as long as you're generating that fuel and there's demand there you can sell that on the fuel exchange for real money so that's the that's the first game uh second is overworld which is where most of the spending happens that yeah. is uh in in going out into an open world where there's 200 plus creatures there's different resources and, and minerals that you need to uh to collect and you're basically capturing these alluvials, uh, forging different weapons and armor to create uh, a team to bring into the arena, which is our third game. Right. And uh, in arena, it's uh, strategic battles where you, you can play uh, PVE, so against the computer, or you can play 1v1, or our latest mode, which is my favorite, uh, is an eight player round robin and uh, yeah you uh, you're utilizing the alluvials that you've uh, captured in the overworld and uh, that's sort of the the point of difference that we have over your typical game is the ability to take one asset from one game bring it into another and then bring it into another and another. As, as every time we introduce a, a new game into the ecosystem, it will utilize the same assets and they can be seamlessly transitioned between each other. 